This Raw Vision video is brought to you by Metro Solar, proud partner of the Richmond Football Club. Our next new life member is Shane Edwards. Shane, as we know, has developed into one of Richmond's most important players for his ability to play in a number of roles as a small forward, kicking all those crucial goals, half forward working up the ground, and a creative clearance player in the midfield. He has some of the most impressive evasive skills of the club was a major reason we turned the 2014 season around. He hit 22 goals in 2014 and finished fourth in the Jack Dyer medal count. So congratulations, Shane. Uh, first of all, I'd just like to say how, um, how humbled I am. Uh, 150 games have snuck up on me pretty quick. I still feel relatively youthful. I remember just the other day, it feels like sitting there as a first year player with Jack and not knowing how many blokes are going to come through the doors every year. And, and yeah, I'll, there'd just be so many players that have come through thinking that they're going to get to 150. And yeah, I just. If someone had told me I would uh, play 150 games when I started, I'd, I would have been wrapped. So I'm um, just excited for the future. And I'd like to thank that, uh, thank Dimmer for all the opportunities he's given me. Um, he, yeah, he hasn't dropped me the VFL since he's been here, so <laughs> touch wood. But um, yeah, thank you. And um, yeah, it's hope for some more success. Shane, you drop the pin. I would like to say that gets you into something, but I don't think it does. So, thank you. Our next new life member is uh, Nathan Foley. Nathan is uh, truly deserving of his life membership at Richmond, given the injury issues he's overcome during his career. After a brilliant start, uh, where he finished second in the Jack Dyer Medal and was an All-Australian nominee in 2007, a series of leg injuries saw him miss a whole lot of football. But pleasingly for all us Tiger fans, he recap has recaptured his top form and stayed injury free in the last two seasons. And he was rewarded by playing his first career final in 2014 after his 10th season with the club. So congratulations. <clears throat> Bear with me, I've got some notes also. Uh, like for everyone here tonight receiving life membership, it's a huge honor. Uh, it's something that I'm extremely proud of and, and will be forever. With injury and form issues over the last few years in the back of my mind, it has personally been a huge goal to play 150 games and stand up here to receive life membership. In terms of the club, I love the Richmond Football Club. I love walking in here each day. I love all the people and teammates I've got to meet over the years and I love representing the jumper. In 154 games I've played, it has never once lost significance the honour of pulling on the Richmond Guernsey and running out to represent this great club. I also know that with the people and structures in place at the moment, we're on the right path to sustain success. On a personal note, there are so many people that I'd like to thank over the journey so far, um, but tonight I'll just thank three. Um, firstly, my parents. They've been the most amazing support for me uh, from such a young age and have given me every opportunity to achieve a life, uh, a childhood dream. Uh, which I'm so grateful for. And lastly, I'd also like to thank Kate, my fiance. Um, she sees the ups and downs of my AFL football more than anyone. And uh, despite me being very moody at times, her unconditional support is amazing, which I thank her very much for. Thank you. Thanks, Nathan. Our next um, New Life member is Jack Rewalt. Even, even though Jack's only 26, uh, he's already put together an impressive CV at AFL level. He's won two Coleman medals, 2010 and 2012. Jack Dyer medal in 2010 is an AFL All-Australian player. In 2014, for the fifth season in a row, he kicked 50 or more goals, which is a feat only one other player in Richmond's proud history has been able to achieve, the great Jack Titus. So far in his career, he has kicked 381 goals with an impressive average of 2.5 goals Per game. Congratulations, Jack. Well, this is only the uh, second AGM I've been to. Uh, the first one was, in, uh, as Shane said, in the seat there in the second row. First week into uh, my Richmond life. 
uh, and it's been a pretty uh, sort of up and down Richmond life personally and, and for the club, but uh, it all started with the Daltons. Rob, uh, it's a great to share a night like this tonight with you, obviously life membership as well, but uh, took me in uh, along with Carly and uh, your beautiful wife Lisa and your three boys uh, really took me in and, uh, and looked after me early on there and uh, it's fair to say I would have been a, a lot of trouble. I know my parents were pretty happy to get rid of me. Um, put me on the, couldn't put me on the boat quick enough to get over here. But um, the Richmond Football Club and the people that are involved in it um, have, have turned myself uh, and I know Carly as well into the people we've become today. Uh, it's been a, an eight year journey that I've enjoyed. Um, I had a lot of ups and downs. Said some things I probably shouldn't have and said some things I probably should have. Um, but at the moment, uh, I can say that <laughs> the first two weeks of this pre-season has been probably the hardest two weeks of, uh, of training of my life. And uh, Cairns, uh, sorry, Townsville last week uh, empathised that, uh, symbolised that really in terms of uh, how our boys are going about it. So for all the members that are here and, uh, and, and tell the people that, that are members at home, this, uh, this great club's going back in the right direction. And I think we all sit there and we look at point five in, uh, in Peggy's um, display tonight and I think win a premiership and I know that the, the group of guys here, the leaders, uh, Damien, all the people up here are all striving and pulling in the right direction and I think this football club set for, for big things and, and hopefully we can, uh, we can be here next year celebrating uh, more life membership and possibly a premiership. So that's it's great on, I really appreciate it and I'd like to thank my mum and dad as well before I forget. They've never turned up to one thing I've won before so um, <laughs> no, cheers mum and dad, I appreciate it. Thanks.